Someone's rolling some containers above me. What are you moving up there? Ah, oh, my mind's going blank. Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. So before we jump into this, here's a little bonus for you guys. This was actually brought up by subscriber Hazel. This one's for you. You asked if I can do it. I have a little bit of short time. It's a small gift. So here, check it out. Yeah, this is so cool. Thank you so much to Lego Certified Store, Hong Kong, Kidsland, Marco and Wendy, you guys are amazing. They gifted this to me and it was so good to get a letter from them. And this is awesome. This is Lego's Christmas gift box. Seasonal, limited edition, 40292. Not sure how many pieces there are. Not that many though. And they can open, let's open it together. Hazel, I hope you're enjoying this. You asked for this, so here you go. Put this to the side, yeah. Let's open it up. Whoa, look at that. I love this kind of style. I wish they do more. I hope they do more. Bigger ones, round ones, you know? Like, this is a really fun idea. You can just leave it like that, display it on the wall. Let's look inside. So there you are, Hazel. You requested this. You look really cool with the shirt. I like the shirt. I love the stocking here. It's just like two pieces. You know what it is. The fireplace looks really good. The curtain, I kind of just wish the curtains were like maybe something else or taken away. It's so thick, it kind of takes up this whole area. The train is neat, it's different. It looks like a choo-choo train. Small little room, but it's really cool. I like the cup there and the little carpet on the floor. Slide onto this side. And who is that? Who can that be? That can be... This is Christmas Dream sitting on the couch. Christmas Dream. Go look at his videos here. I actually had some pretty crazy setups. They're not all Lego, but man, the design and your sets is just amazing. It looks really, really cool. I've never seen that before. So there you go, enjoying and dreaming about the next set. I like the sofa, nice and bright blue. With a Christmas tree there. Christmas tree is very simple, fits inside, a couple presents there, and a clock in the back. And that is it. I really like the living room idea inside the Christmas box. It's very homely looking. The fireplace has a couple of those slopes there to give it that fiery look. Very Christmas, very festive. You can probably tear it off and put your own design in there for every season, maybe. But that is awesome. Look, I just love this. Yeah. Oh, hold your hand. It's just like ice. Very cool indeed. Now let's jump back to the other video. New for this holiday. Hopefully you have it already. If you don't, go get it and add it to your ever never ending collection of Legos. So here it is. So this is Lego's Winter Village Fire Station. 10263, 1,166 pieces. The reason I got the set was to just continue on my Christmas sets, but I actually like the fire station and it's kind of got that modular feel. It's only a half like building, but it's pretty cool. Maybe you can buy three or four of them now and make it into something even bigger. So I tried my best to decorate it just like you see from the box. It's actually a lot of stuff going on. Even though it's a small set, let's look at the ice skating ring first. That is so cool. Look at that. Yes, water tiles. That looks like ice. It's cool that the minifigure is here on his ice skates with his hockey stick and he's just gonna play ice hockey by himself. What a sad little guy. Of course on the box, it has a little doggy in there. Dalmatian dog. What is a dog doing on the ice skating ring? Run little doggy. You're gonna slip on that ice, boy. I do like the little statue there. I think the statue is actually pretty neat how they added that in there. You can pose him how you like. And he's holding this ice fountain. And it's like Mr. Freeze from Batman series, yeah? Remember Arnold is Mr. Freeze? Yeah. Window has come at last. Everything freezes. Tonight, hell freezes over. Let's kick some ice. It's a really small ice ring, but I really like how they put a little bit of gold in there just to kind of make it stand out. Very cool indeed. You guys go have some fun over there. And we got this little blue cart. It's nothing really special, it's just a little cart. I guess it's for any of the minifigures to play with, but it's just sitting there. Maybe it belongs to him. Maybe it belongs to the doggy. Woo, doggy, go on your sled and get out of here. So next to the ice skating ring, you got this little baby sitting on a sled and a mother or babysitter. This looks young or little sister, maybe it's a sister. Pushing this little sled with spears. Look at the spears they're using for the edges there. That's actually kind of interesting. And just keep rolling on here to the side. You got a couple of nice small Christmas presents. There, you guys have lots of these spare parts. Trust me. I know if you're buying these sets, you're getting a lot of these parts. Make your own Christmas presents as much as you want. You can put them with the Christmas tree. You don't have to put them on the outside. And it has a little choo-choo train. It's cool, it's using little roller skates for the choo-choo train, that's neat. Nice Christmas tree. I think the Christmas tree size is good. It's not too small and it's not huge, but it's just right, I think, for this kind of display. It's repeated on all four sides. It's very simple to put together. It has a little star on the top, or is that a star? Or a golden snowflake. So you got this fire woman, she's putting the star on the tree, give it the final touch. You got the guy on the bottom just ushering her, making sure she's safe. Don't fall off that ladder. I like the helmets, I think they're really cool with the gold, gold helmets. See firefighters have gold helmets? Tyler, 
yeah. Get yourself a gold helmet, man. And then to see what else is here on the side, you got the bench, very simple bench. We've seen this bench done many times with this lamp post. Um, it's kind of like a double lamp post. You just put two little red studs there and it just helped bring it out to a Christmassy flavor. Let's put the star up here. Yeah, or snowflake. It's a snowflake that's colored like a star. Definitely old school fire truck. You guys can comment and let me know what exactly it is or if it is a real model. But apparently they build this so that's easier for the kids to build while the fathers like me or us or you guys build this. Or if you're just a kid, you want to build the whole thing. This is going to be easy to build. I like the look of it. It's open and they actually have a space there for the doggy. That's the reason why they didn't put a seat there or no seats here actually. And they have a couple of hoses here and some tools on the back and the ladder, ladder that goes up and down, rotates up and down. Does kind of slide? Yeah, it does slide, but just don't pull it all the way off. I like the toolbox inside. It has stickers here. I suck at putting stickers on. It says ladder four. It has a number four on the front, and it has like the meters on the other side. Very nice truck indeed. Now we come to the fire station. Even though it's really simple, it's not a grand build. I gotta keep reminding myself. These are not grand builds, man. Don't go hard on it. Go easy on it. I gotta be, yeah, it's simple. It's festive. So you got two doors down here. They do open up, as of course, Lego is always secure with their build. So you're not gonna have a problem with that falling off. And I thought the truck wasn't gonna fit through, but it actually does, look at that. Yeah, I'm going through. I was like, nah, it's just barely gonna fit through that. But it does fit, there you go. I like the look of the snowman. I like his little top hat there. And then you got these pillars here that hold up the front here. That's actually pretty neat. I like the design and the icicle, little studs that hang off the building. And they put all these little hooks, yeah, along the top, like a roofing part. It's cool, it's nice, it's interesting. At least it has some architectural, sophisticated looking design to it. And I like this dark brick color. That's actually pretty cool. Goes really well with this theme. The flowers are a really cool touch. They're really festive looking, that red and green. You got a little fire hydrant here. It's a little bit small on this side. I think they could have put a little bit more things here, or maybe you can redecorate it yourself, or modify it and put the bench back here with the lamp so you don't have to use this extra piece with it, but that's just entirely up to you. You got a staircase that goes up to the second floor here that's on the outside. It's a nice touch. And I like the sides here, like the windows right here that you see, nice design. And of course, it's like a long, small tower, and there'll be a reason for that when we see it on the other side. Got a couple of lamps here on both sides that dangle down, it's nice. Behind the snowman, you got this little small box. It's too small to be a mailbox, or is that just like a alarm system thing, siren that goes off when the truck goes out? Not quite sure. So on the bottom floor, there's just a little gap there because you're supposed to see your fire truck there to kind of make it look even more spectacular. There's not much more going on there. There's a box here with a couple of axes and fire equipment stuff. You got some fire extinguishers along the wall and another extra golden helmet. There's also a clock hanging on there and that's it, man. And yeah, we come to this tower side. Look at that tower. So the fire guys can slide down this pole, run into the truck and put out those flames. I just kind of wish the pole was like the Ghostbuster one. If you didn't see the Ghostbuster video, I haven't done it yet. I'll get to it, I promise you guys. They can kind of slide down automatically. Would have been nice to have that in here. Or maybe it was too tight to put that in. All right, we come to the second floor, which is modular. Let's take off the rooftop so we can see in there nicely. We have to ask ourselves, did that need to come out? Yeah, I guess for this set, it's just gonna, kid's gonna play with it so you can like really just get your hand in there. It's easy and accessible. What do we got in there? We got a red hotline. That must be the emergency phone. Pick that up, fire, fire, let's go. Next to that, you got this little kitchen. How cool is that? Some coffee being made. You got the stove there and a gold pan. Man, everything's golden here. They should just make everything gold. Gold sink. Yeah. And there's a door there that goes back out to the staircase. And you got a little lounge or like dining area here with a hot dog. That's what I'm talking about. It's not a pretzel, it's a hot dog. Yes. You got this little radio here on the wall. That must be where the broadcasting things are coming through. I hope it's a radio. It's a ham station. I'm not sure. Look, there's a doggy's home right there. How cool is that? What's interesting is this part here, they have a little wall here and they have a calendar here and they have a sticker of a special dog. You must have saved a lot of lives. Sorry, dear, you're not as good as this dog. You don't get no awards. What's cool is this thing actually folds down and it's like a bed. So the minifigure can lie on that. Is it scale to minifigure? You be the judge, here you go. I would have liked to have seen that more like a bed because at first when I put it on, I'm like, what is this thing? And it just feels unsafe. Imagine lying on that thing and it falls down and you're like, oh. You're gonna hurt yourself. Finally, we come up here to the rooftop, put this back on. You can, of course, make your own decoration here because there's plenty of room to like put some flowers on it or you can put more extra things up here or make it taller, bigger, larger. I would. And yes, they have this the LED light in here. I haven't turned it on yet. The first time I'm gonna pull out the little flap. We're gonna pull the sucker out. Let's see if I can get it out. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 
Yay! And the little silver bell. And I actually need that bell for my Aston Martin because I lost this piece. Now I have an extra one here. Yes! Now I can do the review for that one. The flag is an emblem or logo on here with two axes, and I'm not quite sure if that fire and flames inside the shield. And by the way, they're all stickers on this set. They're good quality though, so you don't have to worry about it. Some of them actually look like they're tiled. And of course, it's time to look at the minifigures. Let's check them out here. Ooh, of course, Lego's minifigures are usually flawless in their printing. They look really, really good. And this is the guy that was sitting on the bench earlier with a saxophone. I like his shoulder pads and I like his moustache. He's pretty cool. So saxophone guy is Are We Done? 2015. Cool username. I hope I'm almost done. But I'm glad you're enjoying the videos anyway. Let me go to the guy that was sitting next to him. He has his coffee mug and a little smirk there. And they're probably just taking a break, hanging out on the bench. But I like his printing. I like the look. So the guy enjoying his coffee is the ultra rad gamer. I'm a huge gamer too. Thank you for loving the video. This guy looks like he's ready to put out any flames that are in his way. He looks very cool indeed. And yeah, his, his sideburns and the mustache is even cooler than the last guy that we saw. He has his gold helmet there. And this is what he looks like with his normal hair. So, you know, you have the option to switch out the helmets with any of these minifigures, really. And that is Tyler. I got a name like you, man. Go put out those flames and grow a big mustache. You got the girl here, a uh, simple outfit, it's the same as the other ones that you're seeing. She has a nice bright smile on her face because she put the star on the tree. Oh, that's Snowflake. And that is Jadrian. I want to say Jadrian. Is it like Adrian with a J? Jadrian mm, from Malaysia. I love the food out there, but it's good to be back home. Then you got this little girl babysitter mom, or she's just a really short mom with her baby. I'm not sure, but she's cool. I like her little scarf around her neck. Printing looks fine. She looks happy to push her little baby around. She kind of reminds me of my wife, Ida. So Ida, there you are with our son, Tyler. Look at the little baby. You can even see, dear, yo, dear, he's got a printing of you on the shirt. Then you got the ice skater. I like how they put the ice skates on him and he's just wearing this cap, simple sweater. Got a hockey stick ready. So the guy playing hockey is kind of spelled like Ryan. I want to say Ryan, but it's Ron. Is it Ron? Ron? Van Tonder. You want it to be named? There you are. Now go pick some ice. It's that time again for dimensions. Ooh, look, the base plate is the same color as the rooftop. Now you got to remember it's curved here, so it might not match perfectly, but it is 16 studs by width and by length. Same deal, if I put it kind of like right there, it is 28 studs in length. So that means it will fit on a base plate with all the little extra features. Here are my one by four bricks. So we have these bricks, put them out, get about 22 of them. It's just shy of 22, it's like 22.1. It's like ugh, barely touching the top of that tower. But there you guys go, useless dimension. So let's see if we can actually fit everything on a single base plate. So if you wanna travel around with it, yeah, it does lock down there, look at that. The ice skating ring, by the way, is 18 studs by length and 12 studs by width. Look at that, we can fit everything on there. You don't need to know the dimension of this one, do you? We'll just put it right here. You know it's gonna fit on a 32 anyway. There we go. Finally, yes, the Christmas tree can fit there. Unfortunately, the truck won't be able to get out of here, but you can at least kind of stick it in there for show. And look at that, it's all on a 32 base plate. So there you guys go, that's the Winter Village Fire Station and the Christmas box. I hope you enjoyed this little Christmas present for you guys. So, hope you enjoyed it. Go watch the other Christmas videos from last year if you haven't watched them older, but they were still a lot of fun to do. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Merry Christmas, have a happy new year. I'll be back. All right, you guys, break me out. Bing, ding, ding. 525,600 minutes. 525,000 moments, so dear. Do you get it? Yeah. Seasons of love. Seasons of love. <laughs> So Mini Deer and Mini Scott are on holiday right now. So I thought I'd show you guys what minifigures actually look like in the set. You can kind of put like four comfortably in here with the dog. And you know, you could put probably one more lying on the bed. But there you go, that's what they look like on the top floor of this room. So here they are going down the pole. I actually found it kind of hard to put the hand in this plastic pole. It was kind of hard to jig in there. And yeah, you can kind of see there's not much room down below. And dog is ready in a fire truck, Mr. Coffee. He's ready with his pickaxe to go out and knock some doors down. So here the minifigs are in the fire truck. You can see you can put at least like two, maybe even three, another guy hanging onto the ladder. But you know, you get the idea of how they can fit and the doggy can fit inside. Yeah. Now for the ice skating ring, you could probably comfortably fit about 
five minifigures. I don't know why you'd want to put more, but if you're decorating your city, there you go. Or you buy three or four of these and make the biggest ice ring you can and fill them in with those minifigures. Yes, bigger is always better. Of course, don't forget the ice skates, huh?